need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's awake I need loss with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space So, what are we talking about? Why are you lost? This is why Jeremiah 17 and 4. Hey, bro, what's your nationality according to the Bible? Come up real quick if you got five minutes. You got five minutes, come on over. You better go pick up a few snacks or whatever. So you got, a few, you got time for the Lord. You got time for the Lord. So we got some signs out here. You see your name on that sign? How you doing? All right. How you doing? My name is not up there. So you see your all right, so you see, all right, when you look, you see that it says one side says Judah, Benjamin, Levi, that's the biblical names, right? And then the other side has our what you would call by names or by words, what they call us today. Read Genesis 4. This is why it says that today, right? Instead of us being called uh Judah, Benjamin, Levi, we're being called American blacks, Native Americans, Haitians in the last days. So this is what uh Jacob said, Genesis 49 1. Read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last day. So J Jacob calling his sons the Israelites. That's on this sign. You understand that? Yeah. So you see, so you see his nationality on the sign? American black. Judah, right? Yeah. Judah. According to the Bible, you would be from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Right from from the nation of Israel. Right. So so the forefather, your great great grandfather, told you to do what? Read from the top. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, "Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last day." In the last day, he said, "Gather ourselves together." Why would Jacob have to tell us to gather ourselves together? Separated. Why are we separated? Why 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 are you what what separated us? There's some stuff here that, that can help. Say again. Okay, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Well, 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 Matter of fact, was it, was it, I don't know, was it the latter? And we split all the tongues and everything, split all the languages, is that true? That was in, in the time of Genesis, but we're in the time of, you know, after Christ came. Oh, okay. We okay. came here. So, what, so one of the ways that we separated in the last days was, like you have on the signs there, slavery, right? right? We, were, we were separated by way of slavery, and this is, it. if I could. Show you that in the Bible. Because you ever been taught that slavery is in the Bible? Or our history yeah. is in the Bible? Yeah. You heard that before? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we get out the Bible to show you why we were told to gather ourselves back and why we were separated. Some signs and some issues that we got to correct in the last days. Gen oh, yeah. Deuteronomy 28 like 15. Watch this. Because the Lord is talking to the Israelites. Come on, sis. Come on, sis. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. So we put the. Show our people why we were separated in the last days, why we lost in uh, Islam, uh, being a Baptist, uh, Pentecost, all these religions that separate us, even in the last days. And it also stems from slavery, because in slavery we learned to hate ourselves. We learned, we learned colorism, we learned to shave our beards, so, we, so some of the sisters don't, hey, don't, don't go too fast, bro, hold on one second. Okay, bro. So, and, and we learned in this nation, sin. In America, because we got this, the nation or uh, the state Las Vegas, Nevada, right? And it's called what? The city of sin, right? So how can this be a godly nation if we have a a, a, a state or a, or a capital of any place in this in this country that's called the city of sin, and we love that thing? See what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, and we think that's cool. Or oh, I'm going to Vegas this year. See the fight? Go go get some holes in the club. That's wicked. Well, and then to top it off, we call our sisters holes. Instead of sister or wife, right. you understand? Right. So watch this. This is so. Those are some sins. Uh, uh, whoredom, right? Sin, of course. But read this. This this what uh, Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen to bring it down. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all His commandments and His statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
So with Christianity or a Christian church on Sunday, sis, are they teaching us what sin is? Do they say, sis, this is what sin is, brother, this is what sin is. I'm gonna go to the Bible, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. Do they, do they, are they telling us what sin is? All right, so you have you go to church? So what's sin according to the Bible, sis? Adultery, fornication. Um, uh -huh. Yep. Um, I can't name them all, but Okay, okay. But that's one of those things that we, because we, before I even, I came into the truth, uh, well, we, to knowing the truth of God according to the Bible, right? We used to say all the Ten Commandments, but we didn't even take it, make it important enough for us to study it. So that's what we try to, uh, what we are here for to help our people to, to reintroduce themselves to everyday study. So right. they can, uh, learn the Ten Commandments, like, Say it like this, one, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the way you're gonna get the kingdom of heaven. You understand what I'm saying? So give me first John three or four so we can show the sister exactly what sin is. Cause she learned, she learned some, uh, she listed off some laws so we can get the exact definition. So the sister can go home, right? And search out more sin so she can, so we all can stop sinning. Right. Read. First John chapter three, verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. The what? The law. The what? The law, Read. for sin is the transgression of the law. So sin, transgression, when you transgress God's laws, it means breaking God's laws. That's right. So this is in the New Testament. So how the pastors today on Sunday going to say God's laws done away with? How are they going to say that? It's telling you to keep the law. If you sin, it means you're breaking the law. So the law, so the law stands. Well, it's hard not. I mean, it's hard not to sin. You know, I mean, because I hear that a lot. But it's hard not to sin. You know, it's so many sins. So you know, you can sin without even knowing. You Watch. Know? You right. I got that. You said sin without even knowing. Watch this. Ecclesiastes four and nine, and then Leviticus chapter four, and I'll find it for. But read this. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter four and verse nine. You know? Two are better than one. Who are better than one? Two are better than one. So sis, come up, come up. So we're going over that with, with the sister, right? Because we all family up out here. Our blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans on that sign. That sign, sis. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. And we're going over with the sister what sin is. So we can all stop sinning. So we can stop saying things like what we've been told of men. Oh, it's too, it's too hard to not sin. It's easy to stop sinning. But there's a process that the Lord gave us, right? So it says, listen to this, what? Right? So we're trying to show you. Okay, just listen real quick. Listen real quick. We got you. I'm going to bring out a couple laws so we can stop sinning, right? So read that. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. So it says you gonna have a good reward for your labor. Two are better than one, right? So you say it's hard to stop sinning? Let's say. I never said it's hard to stop sinning. Repeat what you said. But saying is, I mean, you know, it's hard not to sin. Now it's, it's, it's possible, but it's hard not to. That's right. It is possible. Yeah, I'm glad possible. you said that part. It is possible, right? Because it says, read it again. And, yeah. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Two are better than one. So if you with a sister, you gather yourselves together and study and find out what sin is, then you're going to have a reward for your labor. It means you're not going to fall. When you when you about to sin, let's say uh, if we didn't know that Sunday was the Sabbath, like you said, in ignorance sometimes we sin and we don't know. I'm gonna get that for you. That the sister might have been studying, the brother might have been studying. You listening, bro? Are you going over the signs? They might be studying. They might see you going into something. They're like, hey, hey, hey! It says, come here real quick. Don't do that, cause this is sin. Let me show you in the Bible what sin is. So you said you might not sin, right? Leviticus four, Leviticus chapter four, where it says the sin of ignorance, about verse six. Love you, boy. Excuse me. So you, you. you got any questions for you right now? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm you good. sure? That's you in the name of Jesus. You know all God's laws? Yes, in the name of Jesus. You sure? No, not all of them. Sorry, I know. Yeah. But that's what we are for. We're trying to build with our people so that's they can right. learn and get the kingdom of heaven. Because that's, that's right. the whole thing of to keep the kingdom. They're keep the commandments. All right? Exactly. exactly. So if you got time, come on back. Right. We'll get you snack and come on back. All right? So listen close, sis. You found it? The book of Leviticus, chapter 4 and verse 2. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If a soul shall sin through ignorance. So it's ignorance, right? It doesn't, it doesn't mean you're stupid. It just means you might know, not, might not know how like a, a phone completely works. So you're just ignorant to all of those works. So right, so right now we're trying to show you more works of the of sin so, so you can abstain. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's going to. So read it again. Speak unto the children of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, read. Say, if a soul shall sin through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord concerning things which ought not to be done, it shall do against any of them. Verse 3. If the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people. All right, so ignorance, right? I think it's Yep. So if you sin in ignorance, you can correct that because you're going to be taught like today. We, 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 I'm, I'm going to show you a sin that you may not have known because remember, this is the land of sin. Whether you know, this is Babylon the Great. Spiritual Babylon. You understand? Spiritual. You got your phone? Read, read. Yep. Leviticus chapter 4 verse 27. And if any one of the common people sin through ignorance. So there was a lawful priest if they, if they sin, right? There would be a way to rectify that. So now it's going to common people, right? Until they uh, understand what's going on. But read. While he doeth somewhat against any of the commandments of the Lord. So you do some sin against the commandments of the Lord because you didn't know. Because you live in America where they teach you sin. Where they teach you the laws are done away with. Right? Read. Concerning things which ought not to be done. Uh -huh. And be guilty. Uh -huh. Or if his sin which he has sinned come to his knowledge. So now the sin comes to your knowledge. So we say, since you can't celebrate uh, Christmas, you don't celebrate pagan holidays. And I'm going to get one for you. Don't wear pants. Right? Read. Then he shall bring his offering, a kid of the goats, a female without blemish, for his sin which he had sinned. And he shall lay his hand upon the head of the sin offering, and slay the sin offering in the place of the burnt offering. And the priest shall take of the blood thereof with his finger and put it upon the horns of the altar of the burnt offering and shall pour out all the blood thereof at the bottom of the altar. And, and he shall take away all the fat thereof as the fat is taken away from, from off the sacrifice of peace. Offerings and the priest shall burn it upon the altar for a sweet savor unto the Lord. And the priest shall make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. You hear that, sis? You hear that, sis? It says, won't you come into the ignorance, you're going to do a sacrifice. But today, of course, we don't do animal sacrifice. So your, your sacrifice will be your works, your spiritual works back to the law. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.